that heat wave in India, what does it mean for demand, for fuel, electricity, gas even? Uh, good morning to you and to your viewers. Uh, yes, you're right that uh, there's extreme heat wave, so the energy demand has gone up. As also the CNG, the fuels that are used in the vehicles because of the excessive air conditioning. So they are also uh, seeing an uptick. But overall, the energy demand is uh, very, very high due to the extreme weather conditions. Can you quantify that for us, please? How much higher is demand? I mean, uh, in the overall energy terms, if you see the peak power demand, so that has increased by 10 to 12 percent, the peak demand. And if we see the vehicle, uh, say, for example, if, if I talk about the CNG demand, so that we are seeing that uh, 4 to 5 percent increase is there, especially in Delhi area. But at the same time, the schools have been shut prematurely. So you can say that the, some of the demand that would have come through buses, so that has also been affected. So CNG, you can say, is a mixed bag kind of a thing where, on the one hand, due to more air conditioning, the, the demand is there. But on the other hand, the schools have been prematurely shut due to the extreme heat wave. Mm. Uh, Kamal, how is Andhra Prastha Gas responding to that increased demand? I think uh, the, the more and more gas-based uh, generation capacities are coming on stream. So the, we are seeing that some of the uh, plants which were not affordable in normal times, they have come on stream on gas, like some of the NTPC plants that have started uh, taking gas. I mean, a few, few months back they started, when the summer started, they have, uh, those units have started consuming gas. So in a sense, the overall uh, gas demand in India, you can say has increased by 10 to 12 uh, percent due to uh, the demand from the power sector. Kamal, we know that India is making a transition to clean energy, and Delhi in particular will be converting its buses to electric. How might that impact you and your earnings? Yes, actually, India has, uh, as uh, all of us are aware, that India has a commitment for 2017 net zero and 45% reduction in CO2 emissions by 2030. So as a proactive step, you know, the, I mean, we always knew that the gas is a transition fuel, that from petrol, diesel, they will transition to gas and then to uh, renewable sources. So that transition, we see that in Delhi, playing out perfectly as per the uh, books, that for the last 25 years, uh, we had this uh, city transport running on CNG, and now they are converting to electric. Although we believe that electric has a long way to go, that in the sense that the electricity today is around uh, 75 to 80 percent uh, still gray to black, and only 20 to 25 percent is green. I mean, the electricity that is uh, generated from renewable is only 20 to 25 percent of the overall mix. Balance is uh, either coal based or liquid fuel based. So in that sense, it is only uh, a shifting of At some point, though, yes. that electrification efforts will hurt gas sales. What are you looking at? What are your own estimates? You see, in Delhi, we have already started seeing the effect of that in the sense that whatever growth we are having is getting uh, negated by electrification, especially of the public transport systems. Like Delhi, we are seeing uh, we have seen a reduction of around 45 to 50 percent drop in CNG consumption by Delhi Transport Corporation, which was one of our biggest customers. And in the next two years, we see that demand going up. But although that overall demand in our mix is only 4 percent, so that 4 percent demand coming from the city gas in the city bus of Delhi, the transport uh, undertaking Delhi Transport Corporation. That will go away in two, two years' time. That is the timeline that they have given us. 
Uh, Kamal, you talk about rising demand for natural gas. Uh, you have to secure those supplies. Any difficulties, any challenges in, in securing that in the supply chain, for instance? You see, when we pitch for CNG, we pitch it as a fuel which has got economic advantage as well as environmental advantage. Now, environmentally is known to all, but the economic advantage can only be passed on if we have this fuel at a, dis at a discount to the existing liquid fuels like petrol, diesel. So that way, the securing of supply is not the issue, but securing supplies at a price where we can pass on the economic benefit to the consumer, that is a challenge. So in that sense, we see that due to the elevated crude levels as well as Henry Hub levels, and the spot prices are also increasing. In between, they have come down to 8.5 levels. Again, they are at 12, mm. more than 12, $12 per MBT levels. So that way, the, I mean, it's a challenge, not from the supply point of view, but the, from the pricing point. Uh, given the assumptions you're making, Kamal, where do you see uh, natural gas prices ending 2024? So we see that, uh, I think, slight softening of so 10 to $12 is the range that we see prices remaining in the balanced part of the year. Mm. And before we let you go, how are you diversifying your business? What's your growth strategy? Now, one of the strategies towards securing the supply of uh, the domestic gas, and one of the key steps is the bio gas bio CBG plants that we are uh, the India is setting up. India has set up a target of 5,000 CBG plants, and IGL is also uh, making efforts to secure. So, so our target is that 10 percent of our supply should come from CBG uh, in next five to seven years time. So you can say we are targeting close to uh, 0.5 to 0.7 million uh, gas coming through this route. I mean, on the one hand, this what this will do is provide a sustainable source of supply, secured source of supply, because as of now, this is the cheapest source because it is available at the source. There is no transportation involved. The taxation advantages are there and there is a capital subsidy. So there is an uh, incentive right. or a push from the government also to set up CBG plants, and we are sure that that right. would be one key diversification area. Second would be the LNG space, where we see that medium and heavy commercial vehicle segment. So that can only be, I mean, when we look at the decarbonation journey, so that is the only, right. uh, I mean, the option available in the heavy and medium commercial vehicles. So LNG and CBG would be the key other than the expanding the port.